K.C. Davis's essay, How to Keep House While Drowning, A Gentle Approach to Cleaning and Organizing, offers a refreshing perspective on homemaking and organization. Through a combination of personal anecdotes, practical advice, and a touch of humor, Davis presents a nuanced view of housekeeping that diverges from conventional norms. This essay challenges the rigid expectations society often places on maintaining a tidy home, advocating for a more compassionate and flexible approach to keeping house. Davis begins by acknowledging the overwhelming pressures associated with housekeeping, especially for individuals who are balancing multiple responsibilities such as work, family, and personal well-being. She artfully describes the sensation of drowning in household chores, a sentiment to which many readers can readily relate. This relatable starting point establishes a connection with the audience, making them receptive to her unconventional approach. One of the central themes in Davis's essay is the idea of gentle housekeeping. She argues that the pursuit of a spotless and perfectly organized home can be detrimental to one's mental and emotional well-being. Instead, she advocates for a more forgiving and compassionate approach. She advises readers to prioritize self-care and to let go of the unrealistic expectation of having a perpetually immaculate house. By doing so, Davis challenges the notion that a messy home equates to a lack of personal worth or competence. Davis uses vivid anecdotes from her own life to illustrate the challenges of housekeeping. Her story of finding a long-forgotten tub of sour cream in her fridge, complete with a humorous description of the moldy science experiment it had become, is both entertaining and relatable. Through such anecdotes, Davis underscores the notion that messes and mistakes are a natural part of life, and they should not be sources of shame or self-condemnation. Furthermore, Davis introduces the concept of intentional neglect as a means of maintaining sanity while managing household tasks. This idea suggests that it's perfectly acceptable to let certain chores slide temporarily in favor of preserving one's mental health. By doing so, Davis challenges the prevailing notion that a clean home must always take precedence over everything else. She encourages readers to evaluate their priorities and reassess the importance of a pristine living space in comparison to their overall well-being. One of the strengths of Davis's essay is her ability to strike a balance between humor and sincerity. She injects wit and lightheartedness into her narrative, making the essay an enjoyable and engaging read. However, beneath the humor lies a serious message about the societal pressures and unrealistic expectations that many individuals face when it comes to homemaking. Davis's use of humor serves to disarm the reader and make her message more palatable. Another significant aspect of the essay is Davis's emphasis on the therapeutic benefits of housekeeping. She describes how engaging in cleaning and organizing tasks can serve as a form of self-care and stress relief. This perspective challenges the common perception of housework as a tedious and burdensome duty. Davis encourages readers to view these tasks as opportunities for mindfulness and personal reflection, thereby reframing their relationship with housekeeping. In conclusion, K.C. Davis's essay, How to Keep House While Drowning, A Gentle Approach to Cleaning and Organizing, offers a refreshing and compassionate perspective on homemaking. Through her personal anecdotes, practical advice, and humor, Davis challenges the prevailing norms of housekeeping and advocates for a gentler and more forgiving approach. She emphasizes the importance of self-care, intentional neglect, and the therapeutic benefits of housework. Ultimately, Davis's essay reminds readers that the pursuit of a perfect home should not come at the expense of their mental and emotional well-being.